Yo, what's up, guys? It's Weaver, and today we're doing another manga haul. Yeah, just another, um, just another uh, crazy manga haul. Just when am I gonna stop buying manga? Like, really? I haven't even read five percent of my collection. <laughs> I don't even know how to read. I don't even know how to read. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even have money for food. I have no money for food. I have a problem. Why does everybody keep saying to get a girlfriend? I have honestly never heard of that series. Is that uh, is that out of print? How many volumes is that? I'm probably going to get evicted soon. I am a compulsive spender. I have an issue. I need to stop buying manga. You should be ashamed of yourself. I need to pay child support. <laughs> Please make it stop. I don't have a purpose in life. <laughs> I'm a demon. I think I've read like one manga, like oh. in the third grade or something. Oh. But that might have been just Captain Underpants. I'm not I'm not quite sure. Why do I even have this channel? I don't even read manga. Yo, manga hall go brr. <laughs> manga hall go brr. <laughs> I, I have this problem. Um. <laughs> yeah? Yo, Dora Dora, volume 23 back in stock uh yes uh where where's my wallet Yo, what is up guys? It is Weebra and I'm back with another manga haul for the month of February and a little bit of January. We got a ton of stuff to go through, so let's just jump right into it. We're going to start off with some retail stuff. And to hit things off, we got volumes 3, 7, and 9 of the Sailor Moon Eternal Editions, which I am totally in love with. These are awesome. And I got them on the Target sale, the buy two, get one free sale. But yeah, that was an awesome deal. Super stoked about this pickup. Then I got some stuff from Right Stuff, which if you watch my streams, you'll probably have seen this already. You should definitely go check out my streams. I stopped unboxing manga on video, and every now and then when I get a considerable amount of packages, I'll do a live unboxing. But yeah, I got Common Rider, the classic edition, which is super, super awesome. It's a bit chunky, but it's built well, so it's has not been uncomfortable for me to read at all, and I've just been loving the hell out of this. Um, if you can get behind some retro stuff, I say definitely, definitely pick this up. Then we got Record of Ragnarok, Volume 1. So I already have this in Spanish. I have Volumes 1 through 8. But I did want to pick up the Viz version just to kind of compare and see which one I like better. And honestly, I kind of like the Viz a little bit better. Just the spine itself is just awesome. And the cover and size uh, works really well. I mean, this paper quality is some of the worst that I've seen Viz use. But... It is what it is. As far as the series goes, I think it was a little bit uh, overhyped for me, but it's not bad by any means. Then we got a couple of omnibuses of Yo Mushi Pedal, and this is a series that a ton of people have been recommending it. HVL, Suki Moon, and Mossy from the server. Shout out. I mean, they all have awesome tastes, so it got me pretty excited to start collecting this. Unfortunately, a lot of the volumes are very hard to find at the moment. I still need volume one, so hopefully I can get that soon and start my journey on this. Then I got volume two of When Will Ayumu Make His Move. Awesome, adorable, wholesome series. Definitely recommend this one. Yona of the Dawn. So this is a shoujo that a ton of people recommend for people who aren't really into shoujo. But, you know, I tend to read some shoujo. I like Lovely Complex, Nodamic Cantable, which you're going to see in this haul. But I still tend to shy away from most shoujo. So I'm excited to find another one that I can really get behind. Also got Fry Rin, volume two, which I have been really, really enjoying. Definitely recommend this one. This one's really, really good. I cannot wait to continue this series. Then we got Kaiju number eight, an awesome, awesome shonen. You know, as an older person, I do love that they use an older main character for a shonen series. I thought that was very interesting, but yeah, this is pretty hype, honestly. You know, I really loved what I've read so far on the Shonen Jump app, so was super excited to get this in physical. Then we also got the Quintessential Quintuplets box set. which comes with volumes one through seven, as well as some posters. Um, you know, I'm not super, at first I wasn't really into the series, but it's kind of growing on me now. 
And that is pretty much it for the retail stuff. Let's get into all of the used stuff that I found. So to start things off, I got the all new Tenshi Muyo, volume one that I found in the wild. Um, just for whatever reason I'm having this month where I just wanna get back into Tenshi Muyo, never explored the manga and you know, was itching for some nostalgia and I do end up picking up some different versions, which you're gonna see in a little bit, and some more old retro stuff, Ned Desico. I've had volume four, which is the last volume for the longest time. And just one day I randomly found these and finally have a complete set. So once again, you know, an old nineties era manga. So I don't know if it's going to be for everyone, but for me, it's an era that I grew up with. So I definitely can get behind it and was really, really enjoying it. Then we got volumes one through three of Old Boy, which Hanami God passed over to me because he decided he didn't want to collect it. And it's something that I have been wanting to collect. And yeah, I'm excited to have the first three volumes. Uh, thank you again, Hanami God. So he also helped me get a ton of Alita volumes, the majority of these here, which I am super, super stoked about. I know there's a hardcover omnibus edition, but you know, I really love Alita. So I would love to have them in both editions. And you know, to find these cheap, I'm all for it. Then we got volume one of Worst, a work by Hiroshi Takahashi, the creator of Crows. And this is actually an old edition by DMP. They only published three volumes before they canceled it. But I thought it was interesting because this is a spinoff and they say you're supposed to read Crows first in order to make sense of most of what's happening here is what I've heard. But nonetheless, you know, I thought this was an interesting edition that I only barely found out existed. I mean, Crows is not even out in English, so it's just an interesting thing, but volumes two and three are a little bit harder to find than volume one. So hopefully I can find those in the future for a good deal. Then I got volume one of Full Metal Panic, a series that I have collected a little bit of in the past. Uh, definitely still need to complete the set. Huge fan of Full Metal Panic. I like, definitely need to also get the light novels. Uh, check out the anime if you haven't. Then I got this like really lucky find of the first volume of What a Wonderful World. This has been out of stock for a really, really long time. And when I saw it, I was like, did they restock this? Uh, but apparently not. So yeah, excited to finally get into this Inyosano series. I still need to get volume two, which is still available. Then I got a missing volume of Bokurano Hours, volume six that I was missing. Still missing volume three and volume one, I believe, which makes me really, really sad because I just want to get into this series so bad. So I might just end up buying volume one and then reading volume three online. All right, moving along here. This is one that I found uh, yesterday, actually, a volume of Lone Wolf and Cub. I don't know if this particular one is hard to find from what I remember. I believe this is the spine that uh, means it's an older edition. I, I don't remember, but um, it's for five bucks. So don't know if I'm going to continue collecting this. Nonetheless, decided to snag it since I hardly see this nowadays. Then I got a volume of Air Gear, which I'm still in the process of collecting, a series that I recommend very, very often. Love, love Air Gear. Then I got Monster Collection, which is a series that I decided to start collecting a while back. Um, missing a ton of volumes. Again, another retro series that I don't think I could recommend to people. But then we got a few volumes of the Genshiken. This is a series that is not only nostalgic, but one that I watched with a friend. So it's one of those series that just means a lot to me. Shouts out to Ozzy if you're watching this. Love you, bro. So this takes me way, way back. I'm sure the manga is way better than the anime, but the anime was fantastic. Got volume one of Toriko. Don't know if I'm gonna continue collecting this, but I'm missing like a ton of volumes. But I do have one of the two rarest volumes of the set. So that's why I'm kind of like, should I just sell it? I don't know. Yes. We got some Kendaichi case files, baby. This was probably one of my more hype finds. I found a couple of these in the wild, which I just never see. And these are super, super annoying to come by. They're so expensive. Yeah, it's a nightmare trying to get a full set of this, but you know, it is a fantastic series. So really hope I can get a good deal on other volumes in the future. So Toto was a series that I found while browsing and I didn't see it often and it sounded interesting. And I ended up picking up, not realizing that it was volume two, I guess. I don't, I don't know what was going on in my mind, but um, yeah, I definitely want to get volume one in order to get into this series. It, it honestly looks pretty cool. Love the art style. Then I found a volume that I was missing for the uh, Ninja Scrolls, which is a sequel to Basilisk. Uh, but yeah, now I can kind of get into this because I've heard a lot of great things about this. I really, really love Basilisk in itself. So to hear this is better, um, I'm extremely, extremely interested. Now we got a couple of omnibuses that 
I found at Book Off. Some of the later volumes are just crazy expensive to find at the moment, which is unfortunate. Once again, I'm buying this used, so none of the earnings go to the mangaka. Now we got an old edition for Tenchi Muyo. You know, these covers and style is just awful, but the paper quality is pretty, pretty nice. This was back when they would use a little bit higher quality paper. And it's essentially the only way to collect this particular arc, I guess, of Tenchi Muyo. So, so I got a couple of volumes of Fate State Night manga. I recently just started getting into Fate. I just finished Zero and Unlimited Blayworks and have just fallen in love with the series. I definitely am missing a quite a few volumes of this. So got a long road ahead of me. Then I found quite a few of Helsing singles, which just very conveniently, every single Helsing single that I found out in the wild was one that I didn't have already, which I just thought was like weird. It was all at different times as well. But um, yeah, Helsing, I know there's the deluxe editions, but another super nostalgic series for me, I am for sure looking to get them in both editions. Then I found a single for Blom just yesterday, actually. Don't know if I'm gonna go with the singles on this. This is like top three signing for me, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of torn. Like I want to collect both editions, but I just don't know if, you know, I'll get as lucky as with the Helsing singles. These are for sure way harder to find. I mean, when I found this volume, I was just like, what the hell? Like, nevertheless, extremely excited about this find. Also really, really happy to essentially get volumes 1 through 12 now of Nodame Cantable. Honestly, even if you're not into shoujo, this is another one that I can recommend, especially if you're into like music and classical stuff. Ooh, this one I'm super stoked to get into, which is Cyborg 009. I love this look here, but unfortunately the later volumes have the classic red newer Tokyo Pop logo, unfortunately. But yeah, really, really loved the characters in this as a kid, so I got volume three coming in on the way as well. The rest of them are gonna be a nightmare to look for, unfortunately. Then I got Dr. Slump one through eight for a great deal. I got it for 20 bucks, which was awesome. Yeah, I've been enjoying this so far. Huge fan of Akira Toriyama and definitely gonna go for a full set on this. Um, it's probably something that I'll read every once in a while, which I like to do with a lot of these like episodic slice of life comedies like Nichijou and stuff. So this particular set here, a uh, fellow manga grammar, help me get, uh, I think their name is, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Yeah, it's a ton of volumes of Oh My Goddess that I was missing, which if you guys have been watching my channel, I is a set that I've been trying to complete for the longest time. 37 being one of the harder ones to find. Um, very, very happy about this. These are in super nice condition. Thank you again, Bergbug. Also got the little light novel there, which I think is super cool. Not particularly hard to find, but nonetheless, a very, very cool addition. I want everything. Oh my God, so I have the omnibuses as well. I just like this series. Out of all the retro series, for whatever reason, this one just makes me feel the most good. So also included, she helped me get some volumes that I was missing of Vampire Hunter D, light novels. Again, super excited about that. These are fairly hard to find. Love, love that series. And then I also found this Tezuka series that I've never heard of called Next World. And I found this very, very recently. Um, I believe it's only two volumes long. All right, now we're going to get into the best part of this haul, baby. If you've been watching my streams, you know exactly what this is. I got volumes one through eight and 21, 23, 24, 26, and 27 of Big Fiction, baby. Let's go. Iron Walk Jan. I have been loving this so, so much. A very, very difficult series to collect for. But nonetheless, um, super, super adamant about this and hoping to find some good deals. Man, like, I just love this series. Like, such a cool main character, honestly. When I saw these spines and the covers, I was like, I need this right now. Okay, so let's get into some Spanish manga. Surprisingly, not a lot this month. Like, literally only, like, what, four volumes? Then we're gonna go into some French manga. So starting off, we got Tokyo Revengers Omnibus 3. Love, love this edition by Norma Editorial. I'm gonna wait until the next Omnibus to read them both back to back. But so far I have been really enjoying this. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't seem like it holds up from what a lot of Tokyo Revengers fans have been saying. But you know, nonetheless, excited, excited to collect this. So I got the first volume of Oshinoko in Spanish by Ivrea. And this is one that I think is probably gonna get licensed here in English. But yeah, this is one that 
has been recommended by the Anime Mad. It has won awards. It's by the mangaka of Kaguya Sama Love is War, which is probably my number one rom com of all time. Really, really love it. So, yeah, excited to get into this. This just came in like a few days ago. Yeah, Oshinoko. Then we got La Mujer de la Espia. Um, this is by Masasume Kakizaki, an insane artist. You know, he's not the best when it comes to writing, but you pick him up because of his artwork. I mean, just look at how incredible this is. Hopefully we can start getting some of his stuff out here. Then I got volume two of Vagabond, which I have been missing. Still missing volume four to be able to have one through six. And then there's a ton of other ones out of stock, unfortunately, at the moment. And that's pretty much it for Spanish manga. Now let's get into some French manga. Picked up volumes three and four of Yokohama. I would have liked to get five and six, which is currently out as well, but for whatever reason, the site that I use, they don't have it available. And then seven and eight are, I think, just barely coming out at the end of this month. So I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, this recently got announced in English by Seven Seas, God bless them, which is probably gonna be the most insane license this year. I don't know if anything will surpass it because it's just a license that so many people wanted and just for whatever reason, we couldn't get it for so long. And you know, Seven Seas did the impossible and brought this out. So God bless you guys, you guys are awesome. I'm definitely gonna continue collecting this in French. That way I can practice French and double dip on Yokohama Kaidai Shikiko. Cause like I said, I really, really love the series and but yeah, it's coming out later this year. Definitely, definitely pick it up. You will not be disappointed, even if you're not into Slice of Life, in my opinion. Then we have Rikudo, probably my favorite boxing manga. I mean, Ashita no Joe fans and Ippo fans, I'm sorry. Just for really, really personal reasons and personal preference, this is my favorite boxing manga, even though it's not the best, but it's just badass. And this is definitely harder to read than Yokohama Kaidashi Kiko which is why I'm probably not going to pick up any more volumes this year until I level up my French. Nonetheless, I definitely wanted to support that mangaka, pick up a couple of these volumes and, you know, and, you know, just have this awesome series that I have loved so much in my collection. I mean, I have literally gone through several rereads of this and it's just incredible. Rikido. Then I got the first volume of The Climber in French. I do have these self-printed versions, but man, like, this is just amazing in person. I, I really don't know what to say. I think the scans are just that bad right now. I don't know what the, the issue is, but so much detail is lost in the scans. You know, like the innocent scans are not bad at all, but yeah, I just was kind of blown away when I uh, started reading this in person. It's definitely not as hard and wordy as Rikudo, but still fairly hard, but you know, something that I'm gonna collect slowly. I'm a rock climber. I love the outdoors. I love hiking, all that awesome stuff. Love, love this series, love Sakamoto. Then I got the first volume of Beelzebub, which is so crazy to consider this nostalgic because it literally feels like only yesterday that the anime came out. Another feel good manga for me, it's comedy, supernatural, a lot of fun. And you know, something that we don't have in English. So it was a no brainer for me. Probably have likely heard of this manga's other work, which is, Badass Cop and Dolphin. I forget what it's called in English, but yeah, pick this up as well in French. I don't know if we'll get this in physical, to be honest with you. I think it's possible to get this in physical in English. Only read a few pages, but you know, the premise is hilarious and I just really want to see how it holds up against Beelzebub. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for this haul. A lot of used stuff, a lot of great deals, ton of rare finds. I mean, this has probably been one of my best months and you know i have hanami god and Burkbug to thank for that for shooting me those manga and looking out again i want to apologize for not posting videos as of lately just been extremely busy i, I recorded a couple videos and i just didn't like them i didn't want to upload something just for the sake of uploading for the algorithm even though it does hurt me i i don't want to fall into the habit i just want to really make what i want to make and be satisfied with it something that i think you guys would enjoy but nonetheless i will continue to be streaming i will be continuing to post on my socials such as instagram and all that stuff thank you to everybody from the server everyone who has boosted the server i mean we got to 15 boosts the other day which is crazy but yeah if you want to stay up to date with all my streams and my videos and just want to chill and chat with people about manga and and join book clubs and we're even doing a giveaway soon too definitely check out the server in the description anyways that's all for today guys i appreciate you guys watching are you excited for yokohama kaidai shikiko i know there's been a ton of people that have been excited about it you know let me know what you think what is something that you guys want to see out in english let me know in the comments anyways i'll see you guys next time peace